Hi, welcome to Place Like Home with Christine Nyakato, where I uh, give you messages of love, hope, strength, and encouragement. And I'd love to take this time to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And as Christian, this is our favorite season of the year because why our Lord and Savior was born. And as we're going to be celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, I'd love to share more about Jesus to those who have never heard Jesus, I never heard about Jesus to those who know Jesus but they don't know deep about him to those who just hear about Jesus and they don't even give it an ear this is the right video for you I'm going to be sharing um, what I know about Jesus and I'll challenge you to go and do uh, your own study and you get to know Jesus on your own uh, time and build a relationship with him because he is worthy he is really really worthy and before I go deeper allow me to pray us in and we can just jump right into it Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for this appointed time, for this divine time, Lord, that you've set King of Glory, that I will sit here and we will talk about you, Lord. I pray that you use me as your vessel, King of Glory. I disappear that you appear. I decrease that you increase, O oh Lord. Use me as your mouth speaks, O oh Lord. As I speak out, King of Glory, may you speak to your people, Lord. May your word come out clearly as you want your people to get to know and let this world, let this word, King of Glory, build and change some someone's life from today in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so we are going to be talking about Jesus. We're going to chat about Jesus. We all know that Christmas is the time that Jesus was born. I mean, we may not all know to those who have never heard about Jesus, but most of us know that Christmas is the birth of Jesus Christ. But you might be out there asking yourself, why? Like, why was Jesus even born? Why? I mean, why is he so important? Why is this even a thing that you have to celebrate it you know that's why um i'm just sitting right here to share with you guys about and to encourage you and to like enlighten you about jesus so um the bible tells us in john 3 16 that god so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son and whosoever believes in him shall not die uh, shall not die you know but um it's because of God's love. God loved us so, so very much that he had to have a perfect plan to save our souls. We all know we are sinners. We sin each and every time. So sin separated us from God. Sin took away uh, the relationship that we had with, uh, with God. If you look uh, from the beginning when uh, Adam and Eve were in the, uh, the garden, when they were... Um, in the garden of Eden and the the serpent attempted Eve and they ate the and they ate the fruit and all that then sin entered in the world and we were separated from God so from that time we had a gap between there was a gap between us and God and we had to have a, a mediator or there had to be someone important to go before God for uh, for other people but God had a plan. He said, no, I want my people to be able to access me. I want to be accessible to my people, you know. God gave us that opportunity that everyone who believes in Jesus will have that access to get to the Father. And what did he do? He sent his only begotten son. He sent his only one child that he had. He sent him to the world. That's when Christmas, that's how Christmas comes in. He sent his son like, um... Like he sent his son to the world, then Jesus was born. Uh, if you get to read the story of the, uh, the birth of Jesus, being born in the major, born with the born of the Virgin Mary, you know that whole story. That was God's perfect plan of our salvation. That was God's plan to save us from the sin. That was God's plan to break the um, the gap that was in. That's when the cross. That's where the cross comes in. That's where. Um, the cross because god's son came in the world he was born he died he rose again so uh, when he was born so right now we are celebrating his birth and then when easter comes we celebrate his death and his resurrection but at the moment we are we are going to be celebrating his birth why was jesus born jesus was born to save our sins jesus was born to deliver us jesus had no sin jesus knew no, no sin he was perfect but god sent him to die for you and my for to die for you in my sins because we are born sinners we um we are children of um 
marriage we are born out of um we are born out of sin uh, i think i think that's why um jesus was born of a virgin mary 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 and joseph did not have to have intercourse for jesus to be born but me and you our parents had to have intercourse for us to be born and that's where the sin comes in and yeah and that and that's how we start separating from god because you'll find a one year child starting to lie no one teaches them to lie no one teaches kids to to start sinning doing things that they do but it is something that um that we are born with that's why jesus came in the world to save us from our sins to um to deliver us to give us access to the father to help us to be able to go to the father directly so if you believe in jesus christ we believe in jesus christ by faith so if you believe in jesus christ and make him your lord and your savior then you have direct access to the father then you have um access to um to go to the father because uh because the bible tells us that no one goes to the father through Je except through jesus christ oh gosh sorry my 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 mobile is like warning like the battery is almost getting down but i'll quickly get to it and i'm almost done so yeah this this is why we celebrate jesus god loved us god loved you and me it's because of that love that he sent his only child and the only way to get to the father is accepting jesus as the lord and the savior of your life jesus was born he lived in this world that you and me are living in he faced temptations he faced through the life that we go through i remember he was a child of god but he was also 100 percent human because he was born he was raised and all that but he conquered the grave he survived he um he he conquered the devil he conquered satan just because for you and for you and me so as we celebrate the birth of jesus have that imagination in your mind that it's because of the love that god has for me it's because of the love that jesus has. actually allow me read you this scripture um romans romans 5 6 just one minute Um, Romans 5, 6, just hang on one minute, 5, actually it's 5, 8. Uh, and it says, but God commanded his God commanded his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us much more than being much more than being now justified by his blood we shall be saved from wrath through him so it's through Jesus Christ that we are saved from the wrath it's through Jesus Christ that we are saved um from god's uh, punishment and all that so as jesus is being born as we celebrate christmas don't just look at christmas as a way of celebration don't look at christmas as an independence actually it can be your own independence it can be the birth of your um it can be the birth of your liberty you know getting to know jesus take time and learn to know why was jesus born why do i have to follow jesus christ indeed he is worth it because he is so good he is a good god and jesus is a loving 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 friend if you get to know about him and start a relationship with him and start working with him and start um and start getting to know more about him then your life will be changed your life can never remain the same i'm telling you if you encounter a relationship with jesus christ your life will change everything around you will change you will start seeing things differently you will start um working differently you will know your worth you will know your purpose you will know your um you will, it, it even helps you to know how to 
live and overcome this day-to-day -day life because the new testament tells us it says it tells us about jesus christ how he i mean how he lived if you get in the gospels you will learn more about jesus you'll get to know more about his lifestyle what he did how he served god how he started his ministry where how uh, when he was baptized how he delivered and set the captive free you will get to know more about him but right now as he as um we're going to celebrate his birth. Let him be birthed in your life. Accept him as the Lord and the Savior of your life. Accept him as um, as your Savior. Because you, because in this life, things can get really, really tough. Life alone is tough enough. And if you don't know that there is someone who took your burden, there is someone who died because who died so that you may not go through that hard life. Jesus came so that you may not suffer. Jesus came so that we may overcome. Jesus came so that we may live a life of liberty. That's why he is going. That's why we are celebrating his birth. That's why he was born. He was not born for you and me to keep suffering. He was not for you and me to stay in bondage. But he was born for you and me to live in liberty. But the only way to get in that it is by accepting him as the lord and the savior of your life it's accepting him to be the lord of your life it's accepting him to be the savior of your life to be your provider to be your healer to be your deliverer to be your all in all because with him you have it all and without him truly you have nothing it's through christ we live and we are and our being is in him so yeah i hope that has encouraged you i hope you've learned something about this and i'll also love to hear from you guys i'll also love to learn from you guys i love learning and it's really really amazing and interesting to get to know more about jesus christ and in this season it's the perfect time to spend time don't just um get ready to celebrate look for new clothes look for money to spend on christmas day or christmas eve or just spend time with family no get into it get into it why do we do that why why is christmas here why it is you will be so much amazed by how much you are loved by how much you are cared for by how much you do not have to live in suffering and you will enter in the new year stronger victorious with more purpose god bless you and see you next time i love you and god bless you i hope that you will get to know more about jesus christ and you will receive him as the lord and the savior of your life bye bye and see you next time